Metal Air air distribution products come in all shapes and sizes for various applications. The 3100 round diffuser is Metal Air's most popular round diffuser. The 3100 has multiple cones to help distribute and mix airflow efficiently into a space. They can be adjusted from horizontal to vertical projection for spot heating or cooling applications. The main components of the 3100 consist of the back pan and the core. The back pan is the large piece of metal which is used as the base of the product. The core is then mounted into the back pan to form the final product. The first step of manufacturing a 3100 round diffuser is to create the back pan. This involves putting a thin sheet of metal into a circular shear. This tool cuts a perfect circle into the metal sheet, which is then used to create the back pan of the diffuser. The metal blank is then installed into a lathe to form it into the final shape. The lathe spins the disc at very high speeds while a worker uses a tool to put large amounts of pressure on the disc to force it into the desired shape. This becomes the back pan of the diffuser, which is used to hold the inner core. After the back pan is fully formed, a worker cuts out a circular hole to create the air inlet. Holes are then punched into the back pan that will be used to affix the core. After the holes are punched, a tool rivets latches into the frame. These latches are designed to secure the inner core to the back pan. To create the core for the 3100, two additional circular metal sheets are formed into cones on a lathe. To create the inner core, the smallest inner cone is riveted to the vertical stabilizing frame. Then the larger inner cone is placed over the stabilizing frame and riveted in place. A frame is then constructed to connect the inner cones to the back pan. Three separate legs are riveted together to create a triangular three-legged frame which will fit into the latches on the back pan. An optional safety chain is then connected to the three-legged frame. This prevents the core from falling if disconnected from the back pan. Finally, the three-legged core is riveted to the inner cones to complete the inner core. The three latches on the back pan are then lined up with the three legs of the inner core. Each leg is connected to a latch using a clip which is hammered in place. Once the safety chain is connected to the back pan with a cotter pin, the assembled 3100 is ready to be painted. The unpainted 3100s are then hung on the paint line hooks and slowly transported through each stage of the painting process. First, the products travel through a wash tank to remove oil and dirt from the manufacturing process seen earlier. Next, they are transported into the paint tank. High voltage electrical current flows through the paint line hooks which gives the products an electric charge. The paint tank is negatively charged and the metal products are positively charged, which causes the paint particles to be electrically attracted to the metal. Electro deposition ensures complete paint coverage over the entire surface. Finally, they move into a baking oven which bakes the products at 320 degrees to cure the paint. This curing process causes the paint molecules to cross-link which creates a very hard and durable layer on the surface of the product. The last stage of the process is packaging. The finished products are removed from the paint line hooks and taken to the packaging area where they are carefully inspected and packaged into boxes before shipping them to the customers. Since 1947, Metal Air has produced high quality air distribution products. With Metal Air's round diffuser, you don't have to run around in circles to meet all your heating and cooling needs.